Let's go to Psalms 103. Let's pray. Let's pray live. Alrighty. Well, hello there and welcome again. God is in the house. Um, we're coming from uh, our living room. We're, yeah, we're coming to you from our living room. So from our living room to yours or wherever you might be tonight. Um, we just want to say, Lord bless you. And um, um, we just look forward to being able one day again to be able to... Um, meet together in in real person and so in the meantime we just say thank you Jesus thank you Jesus that we can call on the name of Jesus that you are the mighty God you are the Lord God Almighty and Lord as it says in Psalm 1829 with you as my strength I can crush an enemy horde advancing through every stronghold that stands in front of me and so it's the spirit of power that um, we want to tap and we want to tap into, and we do not want to miss our day, our moment of visitation. We do not want to miss the moments in time of our visitation and that greater presence and power, the spirit of power with with our Almighty God. And so, as this devotional reading goes, and it says, "God, I will not relent until I am all you created me to be." So never give up. I will not relent until I am all that you have created me to be. Today I rise up in tenacious faith, and I ask that you would bless me with the spirit of power. And if that's you today, and you need, you you know you feel like you need that extra, extra measure of the the power of Holy Spirit, that you can say with me, I rise up in tenacious faith, and I ask that you would bless me with the spirit of power. Give me the same spirit that empowered David to defeat Goliath with a sling and a stone. We do not need guns and great guns and all the extra, all of that, the very simplicity. God plus you, God plus me is already a majority and we can say, Lord, give each one of us the same spirit that empowered David to defeat Goliath with a sling and a stone. And I just say, Lord, I will not miss my day of visitation. You may want to tap into that too. I will tap into your limitless power and see miracles, signs, and wonders flow through my hands. You know, you may need some miracles, some signs, some wonders, something to even to touch you right where you're at in your own, in your own situation, your own physical body. Perhaps that you you know we know of several people that physically are being challenged. They may have illness. They may have had, you know, one of our sisters, you know, has had, you know, she had a fall, and and uh, you know that there's there's a few parts parts of her that have been bruised and very very sore, and you know just a touch from the Almighty, the Healer, and so you may be one of one of many that are needing a time a, a a miracle. You're needing a visitation of healing, you're needing a visitation of God's presence and love, and you can say it, say with me, I will tap into, I will, I choose, and I will tap in to your limitless power and see miracles, signs, and wonders flowing through my hands, and even if that means putting your hands on yourself, wherever you may need a touch from the Lord, that means that you're, if, when you're able to even stretch a hand out to those that are close by you and, and so on that need a touch from the Lord. Then heaven will be released upon the earth as I reach out with bold faith. I will not back off until I have it all, so don't give up. And we can say together, anoint me with boldness and courage when I face the enemy. Sometimes it's like the, you know, Whatever, whatever big thing we're facing, whatever huge problem we're facing, sometimes just feels it's like a big roar that's in your face and it, you want to take a step back and try to avoid it. Or it, it just seems so much bigger, but the truth is our God is so much bigger. Our God is far larger, far greater than anything the enemy can throw at us. And so we can say, yes, anoint me with boldness and courage when I face the enemy. I will not, I choose not to, I will not sit by and allow him to steal, kill, and destroy. So many things the enemy wants to steal, kill, and destroy in every one of our lives. When we're, 
when we are so serious for the Lord, and even when we're not, the Lord still wants to get our attention and say, pick me, pick me, I can, I can do these things for you, I can do all, you can do all things through me, because I am your strength, says God. And so, you can, we can choose then to sit, not sit by, and not to allow that enemy to steal from us, not allow him to get the better of us, but rather we can rise up with boldness, and we can say, oh no, my God is greater. My God <laughs> has already defeated that enemy, and I will stand in the power and in the might of my God. The, the hierarchies of darkness are dismantled, totally ripped apart when the spirit of power comes upon me when it comes upon you. So don't think for a minute that that and it's just it's just a big toothless roar. Don't think for a minute that you cannot be the one with, with the power of God in you defeat that enemy because it's already been defeated and dismantled. When the when the spirit of power is on us and in us, then we <laughs> then we along with our God have already dismantled the high, all the hierarchies, all the various realms of darkness. Your spirit within me, so we're talking God, like, God, your spirit within me is greater than any foe. No enemy stands a chance. So you can say, okay, in your face, devil, no enemy stands a chance. You haven't given me a spirit of fear. The Lord has not given us a spirit of fear. But I wear your armor and look just like you. So it's not in our own strength, but it's in the armor and power of the Spirit of God. And when we, when we are walking and, and have, are clothed in his power, then we're looking just like him. And I am, we make that declaration, I am filled with power. So Father God, we just come before you and we say, Lord, Lord, for those who are struggling to even believe that it's possible for, for them to have the, the power of, of Jesus within, for, that it's even possible at all to have any kind of power against what seems to be such a formidable foe. Lord, we just say we choose to trust you. We, we choose not to sit back and let ourselves get slapped about you know, like a you know, like like a noodle or something that just keeps wanting to slap you in the face. No, we choose, we choose to allow the power of Almighty God to come, to overtake us, to flow through us, so that we can just say, "Back off, enemy!" In the name of Jesus, my God, my God, my God has already defeated you in the name of Jesus. So bless you then as you are with us through the rest of our time tonight. And um, yeah, we'll, uh, we've got some, some folks that are needing some prayer and some prayer requests. And so uh, let me see. I've got, Ray's got a list put together here. And we'll just go. I don't think anybody's getting this. Oh. I just don't get it. Oh. Oh. I just don't get it. All right. 